to my channel. I hope you're all doing well and had a lovely week. I'm going to be showing you my Easter basket that I'm going to be making today with you for Arlo for the Easter period. I've got so many cool finds like from Poundland, from B&M, loads of like bargain budget things but that are gonna look really, really nice and just complete the Easter basket. So I'm really excited to make this with you and hopefully you can get some tips and inspiration as well for when you're making your own Easter basket for your little one, if that's something you're doing. I'm gonna get straight in and I'm gonna show you different bits that I found. So firstly, what I found from B&M is this little bunny basket and it's got this gingham sort of checkered print inside. There were two different options. There was this green one and then also a pink one. So there's different options there for you. It was seven pounds and I just thought it was so unbelievably cute. Um, and it's something that can just last like throughout the years as well. Like you just store it away and then use it for next year as well. So I'm gonna see, I don't know whether I'm gonna use this for just like um, Easter egg hunt or I'm gonna use it for like the actual Easter basket. I'm gonna see because I've got quite a lot of things, um, but I might use this Primark crate, which is, I think it was three pounds from Primark to put the Easter stuff in um, if it doesn't fit in there. So the other thing I got from B&M was this excellent characters kit, which was three pounds 50, which is really, really good price. Um, and it says it contains four ceramic eggs, a paint, brush, foam shapes, ribbon, wobbly eyes, and pom-poms. So it's got so many different items in there and it's just going to be one of these like really fun craft things that we can do around the Easter time, maybe on Easter weekend um, and I think Arlo will really enjoy getting stuck in with that activity. So that was the first thing I found. And then what I bought as well from M&S whilst I was there is some little Easter eggs here, these hide and seek foiled hollow Easter eggs which will probably be for like a little hunt that I'll do for him. Um, and then I saw this little chick lolly and I just couldn't resist it. I really was a sucker for it. So I bought that to put in his Easter basket. Everything else here is from Poundland, which is insane. And I was so surprised that like, when I went in there, I was like, I don't remember Poundland ever having like really, really nice things in, but they actually do this year for Easter. So let's get started on the bits that I'm gonna put in there. First of all, I got a bunny ears and tail kit, which was one pound. Um, let me show you. And they had it in two different colors. I think they had a brownie color and then they had this white color. So I got the white and then also it's got this little tail that you can just attach onto their trousers. And he can just hop around when he's doing his Easter egg hunt. I just realized how silly I look right now. Um, but for one pound, you can't really complain. So um, I got that. And then the next thing that I bought was this light up ball, and this is gonna go down a treat with Arlo, let me tell you. So it's one pound, one pound, and there was an option to get like a chick or a sheep, there might have even been a bunny, but I went for the sheep because I've already got quite a lot of like chicken bunny bits. Ah, that's cool. So it's already got the light inside it, and then when you bounce it, it lights up. So that's gonna go down so well with Arlo, he loves balls. So I'm gonna put that in, that's only one pound. Absolutely amazing. So the next two things I found aren't for the Easter basket, but they're like Easter spring collection bits in Poundland that you guys need for yourselves. It's always worth getting yourself a little treat if you're getting stuff for your children too. So I've got this little mug here, and I'm just looking at the price. This one was £1.50, there was an assortment of loads of different um, styles, I think there was three different styles, but the bumblebee was by far the cutest. I just love that so much, and for £1.50 you can't really complain, so I've gone for that one. Um, and then the next thing I got is just going to be so cute, like we're doing Easter baking and making little nest cakes and stuff, it's this little bunny dish. How bloody cute is that? It's so cute and this was three pounds and you can see that it's like actually really good material um, ceramic and it's just gonna be really nice to put like our Easter bakes and stuff on so that's what I got for me and then carrying on with the stuff of the Easter basket I got these little bunny character crayons I've never seen anything like this before but it's one pound and they are colouring crayons. So 
you literally can just colour with them and they're in the shape of a bunny. So I've got those to put in his little Easter basket um, and he'll love those, he loves making mess so yeah, one pound. The next thing that I found in Poundland was this little lamb plush toy which was one pound. There were different um, like soft toys you can get, I think there was a bunny as well, but I decided to go for a lamb and yeah, I'm really happy with it. I also decided to get some paper shred. Um, there was different colours, but I wanted to go for the yellow because I thought that would look nice with um, the colour scheme that I've got here. And this was one pound, so it's gonna be like a nice base to put everything in. And then I got a paint your own chip, which was one pound, which contains three paints, one brush, and the chick. There was a bunny as well that you could pick from. And before I go any further with my haul, if you could please just subscribe to my channel, that would mean the world to me, and you wouldn't miss any of my videos if you did that. Uh, make sure you also press the bell, and then you'll get notified when I post, because sometimes I do post bonus videos in the week. Um, so yeah, thank you so much for doing that. And then there was a selection of little fluffy pens that were one pound. Um, loads of different bits, I'll pop a video up now of that area in the shop. Um, but there was so many different things to choose from and I was just so excited to see such a big collection and such a big range in Poundland because I swear they never have this much and there was so many nice things in. So I got this little funny pen and he's going to love that and it literally is a pen with a lid and everything. Um, so that's going to sit really cutely in the basket. And then there was so many different little characters like these, for example, which are um, bunnies and chicks. So they're going to be like really nice to just lay in the in the basket. But there was like a big collection. I think there's ladybirds and things as well. So for one pound, that's going to look lovely in the basket and Arlo will love playing with them as well. And then there was a selection of activity books for Easter and they were one pound as well. So I decided to grab one of those um, and it says 40 pages of Easter fun. There's like different things they can colour in like Easter pictures. So that will occupy Arlo and he can use his little um, bunny crayons as well to colour those in. So. I'm gonna pop that in his basket. Lastly from Poundland, I got these one pound cookie cutters because I thought they would come in use if we were doing any Easter baking and they're gonna be so cute. But I'm not gonna put those in his Easter basket. They'll just be on my side of things. Um, the only other things I have to put in there are little books and his Easter egg. So what I'm gonna do now is start making up the basket. I think looking at everything is probably gonna have to go in the crate. So I'm gonna start that now and we can just make it together and then I'll show you guys the finished result. So this is the finished basket crate. I'm so pleased with it. And I've actually got too much for the crate. So I'm gonna leave the um, B&M eggs out. Um, but how lush is that? And it's just gonna be so nice um, for him to wake up to on Easter day. And it's just perfect for toddlers as well because they're not really, they shouldn't really have too much chocolate. So it's nice that he's got different activities and stuff to do there. Um, and it's all on a budget, Poundland mostly, so yeah. I've just popped in this little sign from Claire and the Bear which you can get from Etsy. Um, it says Hot Little Bunny, you can get smaller ones as well. And then this tiny little acorn pendant which is from Little Window Living. I've just put it in there because it looks really cute. So yeah, that's my um, toddler Easter basket. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments and let me know if this was of any help and you found some inspiration. Um, but I'm gonna leave the video at that for now and I will see you guys in the next video. But it doesn't really matter